TD Waterhouse is proud and honoured to sponsor this year's Art with Heart. The real reason we're all here, and TD Waterhouse is tonight's presenting sponsor, is to support the vital work that Casey House does in our community. The event itself stands for something very important to me. On one hand, it recognizes the lives of those who have lived with HIV and AIDS, but it's also a night that for me symbolizes the center of the creative life, which is the notion of hope. And I think that's what art does at its highest level. It gives us a way to imagine the future through hope and optimism. Maybe I'm like a lot of other people that thought that um, the disease was being handled and dealt with. I got involved for those very basic personal reasons. I wanted to do something that, you know, was my way of saying, you know, I, I haven't forgotten you. Casey House was founded because there was a group of very um, concerned and caring people in this city led by June Callwood who saw a group of patients, a group of people who were being marginalized because of the disease that they had. They were not being cared for appropriately within the healthcare system. And this group of individuals led by June realized there was a better way to do things. I've been in Casey House maybe 10 times to do um, either uh, HIV cocktail or to put on some weight and um, get back to, you know, myself. What makes Casey House special in caring for people with HIV and AIDS is our staff's unique combination of applying compassion with medical excellence in their care. I would say that at the heart of Casey House is the desire to create a compassionate environment for people who have not always received compassionate care. The prevalence of HIV and AIDS in the Toronto area continues to rise. Uh, it's expected that between 2007 and 2012, there'll be a 39% increase in HIV infections in the broader Toronto area. We hear about drugs that it's now a curable, manageable disease. Let me tell you, it is not. Every time you have a bruise or feel a pain or feel a flutter, you're concerned that this is the beginning of the down escalator and your days are numbered. In the early 1990s, Casey House recognized that there was a need to care for people outside of our four walls. The, uh, the numbers of people with HIV and AIDS were continuing to grow and people wanted to receive care at home. Nurses, social workers, a massage therapist, and occasionally personal support workers go to people's homes to help them uh, with their healthcare needs and to provide healthcare on a regular basis so that our clients can stay at home. It used to be, they all thought, like my partner always thought that once you come into Casey House, you don't go out, right? And that's the way it used to be, but it's not like that anymore. You know, it depends on how sick you are and everything, but when I come into Casey House, I feel like um, it's just like being home. Casey House has a quilt for every year that we've been open, and the quilts um, list the names of everyone who's died at Casey House in that year. Well, I think everybody needs to be remembered. When we first started, uh, the very first quilt, I believe there were 80 or so names. And then each year after that, we found more and more names. And eventually we reached um, a, a challenge representing each name individually on the quilt because there were just simply so many names. There were over 200 names. I hope we get to the point that there is zero names on a quilt. So that would mean, well, what would a quilt need to look like? Well, for me, I hope it looks forward to how can we impact the disease in a positive way? And how can we make sure that no other names ever get added to a quilt? People say, how can you, how can you uh, work at Casey House, you know, with, with so much death and that? I usually say, well, no, no, it's really, it's really a, a privilege, really, to, to be here to experience those little miracles that happen. 
Today, AIDS is a very complex disease and people are moving regularly between hospital, between our, our, uh, the house itself where we provide inpatient care and their homes. And so the monies generated um, at Art with Heart enable us to provide care to people in their own homes where they want to be. And by bidding on one of these pieces, that's not only an investment, it's also a thing to cause change. So on behalf of TD Waterhouse, enjoy the art, enjoy the evening, but remember, bid often. Bid more than you ever expected. And bid high. <laughs>